What's up? Bradley Aiden Johnson here with that TJF workout with my white lady transformation. Yeah, uh, there's a little child playing Nintendo 2DS Pokemon, I believe. But none of that has got anything to do with training. So we're back focusing on the glutes on this chick here and trying to get some more hip thrust. Uh, it's not happening there. Much too much quad dominant, hamstring dominant there. You see the rise there. The hips aren't slamming forwards enough until right at the end. So we need to work on that. Also, the knees are shaky a little bit. But they're better than last time, so yay, go technical work. So that bit there needs to happen faster. Yeah, I screamed on the microphone. And re racking could do with some work. Let's go ahead on. Anyway, foot in the way of the camera. Moving on to my squats. Much more mundane, other than the second rep with a bit of a knee shake on the eccentric motion. But I'm definitely doing a better job of rising up, slamming the hips forward there. I can definitely get earlier activation. The idea is just to get earlier and earlier activation. You want to have it there where it's most difficult to get it. Um, so really forcing it forward there. And the sooner and quicker you can do it, the better. These just felt pretty about right. Uh, just a set, get it, do it, move on. Moved on to bench press. And um, overall cleaner session today on bench press for both of the trainees in this video. Um, sat up there, it's pretty tidy, pretty tight, whatever, whatever. Moved into uh, what was a really much more secure set than previously. Bar path was improving, definitely. Pause at the chest is better. The bar's more asymmetric. The whole thing just came together a lot nicer and cleaner. We're still pulling down a little bit tight on the right side, but I think more of that is the bench, actually. I do need to get a better flat bench for the gym. And, you know, the RP the story, it was pretty easy. Uh, it's a good day of bench. Need there, improving leg drive for myself there. And really, this is just lightweight, and I'm just trying to get them slammed up as quick a bar speed as I possibly can muster. And really, it pretty much happened. That, um, that bar speed is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. But um, I just really need to get the weight up because it's, um, this weight is whack. I need to get into the 90s. Uh, until I get into the 90s, I'm not going to be happy with those. Dead lifts. Um, here we're going to highlight a, the problem that we're having again, which is the lack of homogeny between reps. The first rep is good, which I guess as a power lift is where you want to be, but it's not what we want to be doing um, for, for making the best adaptations for the future. If you watch this first rep, other than the fact the bar does go forward a little bit, if you watch, it's a pretty good position, but the bar's dragging it forward a little bit. It's slightly improved in the second rep in terms of the bar path, see that's straight up. But then every rep subsequently, the hips are moving higher, the back is curling more, and we're just not getting as not much leg drive. It's lazy, basically, it's lazy. And, um, we just need to get that, that out of it because she's a much more powerful deadlifter when she has full leg drive from the bottom so we, we, we should try and aim for that. Moves on to my deadlift. Um, little child playing Pokemon. Don't care what I'm doing. Um, I think I could have been a little bit more secure in, in my hip structure at the start of these but they were pretty boring. Um, I'm moving up and forward a little bit more than I want to be so I need to drill through the legs a little bit more and pull a bit more slack than that. But they're pretty tidy. I can't really complain too much. Um, so yeah, but I do need to watch that. I need to pull more slack, more slack, more slack, more slack. Needs to be the message. Moved on to some lats jokers. People be doing chins. I'm not doing chins because I still got this massive pain in my abdomen this, um, that prevents me from wanting to do too much to stress my core. Um, so I'm doing these chest supported rows. I'd much rather be chinning. I love chinning. It's so easy. Just walk up to a bar, start pulling. Everything works out great. But um, yeah getting the work done she's doing an abs joker after that i'm not doing any abs work and i'm just doing my glute bridges here this is 120 kilograms and it's probably a little bit too light um holding up at the top there hamstrings not getting involved too much it's mostly glue i'm pretty happy with these as sets they're pretty clean better control and it just tells the same story that my um, squats are telling that um, glute control and strength is improving a little bit at a time which is where you want to be going as we slowly get these up to three plates for them glute bridges and this here is for the guys look look <laughs> there's a girl she's thrusting at their hip glute <laughs> anyway, that's all I wanted to show you. Yeah, good angle there. Um, entirely for fan service. There's nothing to, to glean from this technically. Other than the weight is too light. So yeah, peace.